Okay, so we're just going to look at a short video today which is about muscles and contractions. Okay, so muscles work by contracting to produce movement. The first contraction we are going to look at is an isotonic contraction. Okay, an isotonic contraction is where the muscle changes length, so it either gets longer or it gets shorter. An example of this would be a bicep curl, as you can see there, or additionally a jab within boxing or a shot put in athletics. During the contraction of the isotonic movement, the muscle, like I say, either gets longer or gets shorter. As the muscle gets longer, that is called an eccentric contraction. As the muscle gets shorter, contracting, that is called a concentric contraction. And that is how muscles work when producing movement. Now, a rapid recall to remember that would be to look at the word tonic, as in tonic water fizzes, it moves. So a rapid recall for isotonic contraction would be that um, there's movement in tonic water, there's movement in an isotonic contraction. Additionally, or secondly, an isometric contraction is where the muscle is contracted but is staying the same length. An example of that would be the plank, or in a sporting example would be the standing foot when striking a football, or holding a weight out in front of you where your muscles are contracted and you are holding the weight. You could also use as well uh, rock climbing. Within rock climbing, there's often times when you are stationary on the wall, so you'd be working isometrically to hold your body in that position. And they are the two types of muscle contractions which you need to know for your GCC.